Hey there, it's Pumpkin. I hope we're having a great day so far. Uh, today, I'm just gonna. I just came back like a couple of minutes ago from watching the Barbie movie, and I really want to talk about it. Um, the game we're playing is Fortnite. We're gonna be running some only up on Fortnite because I've been having a little bit of fun on this. So I just figured, yeah, why not? Um, and yeah, I did, Barbie. <laughs> um, it, just to start off. Um, the movie, I, in my opinion, was great. I, I wasn't, I was never bored during the movie. I think I enjoyed, like, every second of it. Um, yeah, it was great. I think my favorite, I don't really think I had a favorite character, but a character I enjoyed a lot was Alan. Um, you know, he's Ken's buddy and all Ken's clothes fit him. You know, he's, he's great. <laughs> um, but yeah, this movie was not as child friendly as I thought like it's it's PG-13 but they throw out some words and some jokes um I mean I I personally caught them uh but yeah they were you know probably hopefully go over little kids heads um yeah I I genuinely loved the movie it was it was great <laughs> I the set design was awesome I think the casting was actually really great I think every character fit their role perfectly um just yeah I, I don't i don't really have any complaints about the movie at all i just well i do have one and i, I think it's my only complaint is that i i don't think will ferrell was impactful enough you know uh oh i'm so sorry spoil this is gonna get into spoilers obviously so if you care about the barbie movie storyline i probably click away um because i'm gonna get into some minor spoilers and stuff so yeah, just a little note there. Uh, but yeah, Will, Will Ferrell's like role as kind of like the CEO of Mattel, he didn't do a lot. He was there. Um, and he was funny. But he, he didn't do a lot. Um, but that's okay, because he wasn't like, you know, really the star of the show. It was really Barbie and uh, Ken. And then later in the movie, uh, Barbie finds like the woman who used to, or the woman who was like, playing with her in the real world because Barbie land and the real world are only separated are separated by a couple of of travels it's like you go through space and you go through a, a boat ride and bicycle you know it, like some silly stuff they, they go through different Barbie play sets um, and it's really cool uh, the message of the movie uh, was really I, I thought it was good I don't really know how I can put into words about the message of the movie and I also don't think, I don't know, I, it's, the movie is like kind of a, it's, it's very like, fem, like a feminist based movie. And I'm not a woman, I don't have, I don't know the struggles, I don't know anything about that. So I, I don't think I can really, cor I don't think I can really like put into words how accurate or like well told the story was about that stuff. Um, but I, I know I enjoyed it, and I felt like it was good. I felt like it was good. Um, and it also opens up insight, which was nice. You know, I mean, it is a movie, but I feel like, you know, truths and, or the themes in movies have some truths to be, have some truths to be told in them, you know. So, yeah, I, I just thought it was great. Uh, I think I already talked about the set design. Some people in the movie that I didn't expect to see there was uh, John Cena. Um, John Cena and Will Ferrell were like the two people I, I did not expect to see in that movie, and they, they were they were good. John Cena only had like like three seconds of screen time, and he I think his only line was "Hey Barbie" and "Pass me that bro brewski." Um, but yeah, all right. And the story of the movie was pretty entertaining to go, to go along with. So it kind of shows off. It goes throughout Bart the. The first couple of minutes of the movie go out and show Barbie's day and how every day is a perfect day. And then she goes to sleep and wakes up a little, like, disgruntled and not as, like, gracefully gracefully as she usually does, right? And it turns out, and her feet are, fl like, her heels are touching the ground, which is just bad because, you know, all the dolls are, like, always on their toes. Um, so she goes to seek out the weird Barbie who lives at the top of this hill. And the weird Barbie is just, like, a Barbie that's been played with too hard, which is how they describe her. She's, like, a, just a Barbie with, like, crayon drawings on her, and her hair is all messed up. 
Um, but yeah, she tells Barbie that she needs to go to the real world to and find her, find the person she's like connected to, um, because they're obviously having some down feelings, which are transferring over to Barbie. Um, so Barbie goes to the real world, gets sexually harassed, uh, physically and verbally, and Ken gets complimented. And Ken in Barbie Land, like the whole thing is like the men, all the Kens in Barbie Land are kind of like not respected. So Ken feels very validated in the real world because the real world is run by men and stuff, you know? So he feels very validated and Barbie is very self-conscious the whole time and is just very uncomfortable with everything going on around her. Um, and they show that, you know, they show her facial expressions, she talks about it, you know, they show it pretty well. And yeah, so Ken kind of wanders off. They go to this middle school because, okay, they go to this middle school, but before that scene, I think my favorite scene in the entire movie is Barbie is trying to clear her mind to try and figure out where the person in the world is um, that she's trying to find. And she's sitting on like a bus station, uh, a bus stop bench, or no, a park bench. And she's just trying to clear her mind. And she's like getting visions of the, of the girl and like where she is and stuff like that, right? And she opens her eyes and then like, it's this, this beautiful shot of all the people in the park um, and the trees and the nature. And it shows these people, families having a good time, you know, couples hanging out. And it also shows, you know, people who are alone and kind of sad. It just shows every emotion. It's like, it's like humanity in a nutshell a little bit. Like, like the basic human emotions in a nutshell. And I, it was my favorite scene. It was beautiful. It was well shot. I, like, the message was beautiful right there. And then she turns, after she kind of, like, you know, is starting to really appreciate humans, there's this old lady next to her, you know? And I thought this part was really sweet. There's this old lady next to her at the at the bench. She turns to her and just kind of like stares at her. And eventually she goes, you were so beautiful. And the old lady's like, I know. And I thought that was pretty funny. But it was just a, like, a, it was an extremely sweet moment. And I, I, I loved it. That was my favorite scene of the whole movie. Um, that and Alan beating a bunch of Kens up. That was really funny. Uh, but yeah, that, that scene was beautiful. Uh, I instantly, like, as soon as it happened, I knew that was my favorite scene in the whole movie. Like, it was just awesome. Um, but yeah, and then Barbie, and then while Barbie's trying to clear her mind, Ken wanders off and kind of gets more, um, compliments from men and is kind of, like, seeing how men kind of run things, um, around. And he's, you know, he's feeling validated by it, and he's like, wow, I want to... I want to learn more about this. So he learns about the patriarchy and he thinks it's about like horses. And he's like, this is amazing. You know, I got to bring this back to Barbie land. And he kind of like brainwashes all the, bar he goes back to Barbie land and kind of brainwashes all the Kens and Barbies in Barbie land to kind of fit in with the patriarchy. Um, and it was kind of funny. And eventually Barbie meets the girl she was having visions of, which ended up being the mom of the girl she was talking to and and then barbie gets caught uh she gets sent to will ferrell and then she escapes will ferrell um and then the mom the kid and barbie all uh venture back to barbie land where they find out that ken has started the has like kind of brought the patriarchy into barbie land it is now naming it the kendom uh and he's you know, he's like kind of ruling everything. All the Barbies are kind of hypnotized into serving the Kens, stuff like that, you know. And they find a way, after a little bit of scheming and a little bit of, you know, lots of sadness from Barbie, they kind of get together and the mother, the mother of the kid from the, the human, the, um, kind of goes on like a rant about, you know, what it's like being a woman and how it's, there's, you can't do anything too much, but you can't do anything too little, and you have to be everything but nothing at the same time, and it's just very complicated, and there's no winning. And it was a very, like, I don't know, it was a very powerful speech, I'd say. And, um, yeah, and when she was ranting, the one of the mind-controlled Barbies, or not ranting, when she was, yeah, I guess it, it was a, it was like a speech and a rant. 
Uh, but when she was finished, one of the mind control Barbies that were in this house, that were in this mansion, uh, snapped out of it. And they kind of realized that, you know, to break the hypnotiz uh, hypnotization of the ki of the Barbies, they kind of have to, like, you know, <laughs> ground them, I guess. Get them grounded in Barbie land reality or something. And, yeah, they eventually start kidnapping. That's about, yeah, no. They, they start kidnapping all the other mind-controlled Barbies, and they use the Barbies who are not mind-controlled anymore as decoys. So they distract the Kens, then they take the mind-controlled Barbie, they give them a little speech, and then they kind of snap back to reality. And, yeah, and then they just kind of do that until all the Barbies are not brainwashed anymore, and they have a plan to fix all the Kens. And to do that is to kind of, like, hurt their egos, you know? So, they all, all the Barbies and Kens go on, like, this beach date, where Ken is, like, you know, singing a song for him, he's being all romantical. And then, uh, and then they all have, like, this moment where all the Barbies, like, pull out their phone and start laughing at their phone. And then the Kens get really, like, uh, paranoid and kind of, like, uh, demanding, where he's constantly asking who they're texting. And Barbie's like, oh, I'm just texting Ken. And then the Kens get jealous of the other Kens. And, uh, yeah, and then, then later all the Kens get into a big old war, and then, uh, the main blonde Ken, the Ryan Gosling Ken, starts singing a really catchy song, um, which I admit has been stuck ever since I saw the song in the trailer, it's been stuck in my head. It's really good. It's really catchy. Um, and yeah, so, all the Kens are kind of now together, like, they were divided because of Barbies, but now they're all together again, and they, they're very unaware of who they are and who they're supposed to be and the barbies you know get their mansions back they clean up barbie land they reinstate the barbie constitution which i'm saying it out loud it sounds so silly but they reinstate the barbie constitution and uh and then the kens kind of like all group up after singing their little song and they kind of realize you know they're all together and uh yeah so all the kens group up and they confront the Barbies, and the Barbies are like, uh, Ken, the leader, the leader Ken gets all, like, angry and sad, because he doesn't know who he is, you know, he doesn't know his role, he's so fixated on being with Barbie, that he doesn't know who he is without her, and Barbie's trying to explain to him that it's, it doesn't have to be Ken and Barbie, it can be, it's Barbie and it's Ken. And that kind of clicks with Ken, and he starts to realize that, yeah, he doesn't have to be, he isn't, uh, being with Barbie isn't, doesn't have to be his purpose. He can be his own person. You know, he can be his own toy or plastic thing. I don't know what they refer to themselves. He can be his own Ken. And then all the Kens kind of realize, you know, yeah, we don't, we don't need it. We just can just be friends, and, you know, we don't, our self-worth isn't, doesn't have to be revolved around Barbie. Um, which I think is a great message in its own too. Your self-worth should not be, I've said it already on this channel, your self-worth should not be put on someone else. Your self-worth should be on you. And yeah, it's, uh, it's beautiful. And then Bull Pharaoh comes out of nowhere and it's kind of like, yeah, cool. We fixed it. Hooray. So you want me to change it back to how, no way I just fell. So he's like, you want me to change it back? And then Barbie's like, no, I don't want to change it back, you know, we, let's not, you know, we made so much progression. And then this old lady came out that Barbie meet, had already met before in uh, the Mattel building. And she turns out to be the creator of Barbie. And she goes, she takes Barbie on a little walk and they talk a little bit. And Barbie is contemplating about wanting to become a human. Um, and live life normally, you know, just like a human expressing their feelings and not just feeling, you know, and being a person. So, ultimately, she decides that, yeah, she wants to be a human. And, uh, the, gram the old lady disappears. And Barbie's kind of left with herself in this, in this, like, white room. And then it cuts to Barbie in a car with the, with the mother, the kid, and then the kid's dad. And Barbie is, um... Barbie's like at a at a building. They don't really specify. Well, they do specify later. Um, but she's at a building. She's all nervous. She's trying to work herself up to like you know get confident to go inside the building because it's a new experience for her. 
And you know, the family's all cheering around, like, you got this, you got this. And it's very sweet. And then Barbie finally makes it inside the building. And then she's like, uh, and she's like, I'm here to see my gynecologist. And because it's like a joke because Barbies don't have, you know, Barbies and Kens don't have parts. So, you know, it was a, that was a joke before too, in the, earlier in the movie. But yeah, that's the end. Um, it, the movie just ends right there on that note. And it, it was funny. Uh, so yeah, that was Barbie. I, I had an amazing time watching this movie. Um, one of my other favorite scenes, because I kind of forgot to talk about it, was when Ken and the other Ken get into a little debacle. They're like threatening each other um, on the beach. And they're talking about a beach off. <laughs> and, you know, beach kind of sounds, in my head, I was thinking of the scene, you know, beach kind of sounds like beat. And and they're constantly, th they're threatening each other they're th uh, with like, yeah, I could outbeat you. I, I could beat two of you at once. And in my head, it's so funny because it's like, it sounds like he's like, you know, it's, he sounds like he can beat two people off at the same time. In the, in the naughty way, you know. And I, th that joke had me cr like actually crying. It was super funny. I just, I thought it was. Um, but yeah, that was that was like my second favorite part of the movie. But yeah, the that was the Barbie movie. I really enjoyed it. I think uh, my family enjoyed it too. And I because I, I watched it with them. Um, yeah, good messaging. I I'd say good messages. Um, Ken was kind of the villain of the story. Like I like I misunderstood villain. You know, he's being taken for granted, so he kind of took it out he was very underappreciated he saw the wor this world where you know men were appreciated and respected and you want to bring into barbie land so it kind of made him the villain in a way um one thing that i didn't like though was that barbie apologized for ken for taking ken for granted um but ken never apologized for bringing the patriarchy and kind of mind controlling ev everyone in barbie land but i i just kind of you know I, I don't know if they thought about him apologizing in the script or not, but it, it's whatever. But I think that was, those two were like my only gripes, was Will Ferrell not being in it enough, was not being impactful enough, and then Ken not apologizing. But yeah, the Barbie movie, I, I loved it. I think I'd give it, I, I, I would generally give it like a 9 or 10 out of 10. It was super enjoyable. Um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, I recommend you go and see the Barbie movie, it's really good. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you tell, better tell someone you love them. And we'll catch you all later. See you.